talk about the new Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Is this a collectible car right out of the box? Oh, I would think so. Of course, I keep thinking this is going to end someday, and they can't make it any faster, any more horsepower. <laughs> I know. And each manufacturer keeps topping them and Dodge is at the top of the heap now. It's amazing the horsepower and the technology they put into this car. Well, they take a, a big heavy car like this, because it is heavy. I mean, we're talking 3.5 seconds, zero to 60. It's got the ability to dial in track versus sport versus just a nice comfortable ride. So all this technology, and you put that with a muscle car and all that horsepower, and they work together in concert and make a dreamy machine that you, you know, 20 miles to the gallon on top of that. So I got to think this is the beginning of a new era of muscle cars, wouldn't you think? Yes, the muscle car battles again are oh, yeah. back, the yeah. war. The ZR1 and the Shelby and the Challenger, one keeps trying to up the other. It's the 60s with technology right, again. Right, right, right. So I know you guys get a lot of chances to, to sell serial number one. Yes. Seems like you bought one, right? One. I bought the first next generation Challenger when yeah. they when they reintroduced the you Challenger. Still have it? I still have it. It's VIN number one and I ordered it to match my 1970 original Hemi Challenger. Right. It's one of the first Hemi Challengers ever built. So they're they're a match set now. This really is good at the end of the day for the values of all the cars that we have because these are collectors right out of the box. Cars that really set a, a new bar it's one of those that becomes an iconic car. Right. Speaking of iconic cars, haven't you already put your hands on everything out there? A it lot like, of it. Yeah, it's all run through your world. Is there anything out there that you haven't been able to just get your hands on yet? Well, Bonhams is getting the Ferrari collection that everybody was going after at the Quail this year. Uh, that was a known collection, but you had to go and step up and buy it. Yeah. And they stepped up and bought it, and they're going to be selling the GTO at no reserve, which is, uh, you know, we believe in no reserve, yeah. so uh, yeah. thumbs up to them. I hope they break the bank with it. Yeah. Uh, it's a gutsy move. You're talking about collections, you've got a big one coming up in January of 15. Well, it's going to be a huge year for us, selling the Ron Pratt collection. Tell uh, the world about that for those who don't well, know. Well, Ron has been a... Uh, fixture at Barrett-Jackson for years buying many of the star cars right. and we'll be reselling many of those star cars. A lot of the cars that Ron bought, Ron is very meticulous. He went through a lot of them and whenever I walk in the museum and look at his cars, everything is perfect. He is that kind of attention to detail. And he doesn't just let anybody in to see his car. No, no, it's a private collection. Yeah. He started collecting automobilia way before he started collecting cars. And he's 1,500 pieces of automobilia. Wow. January 2015, the Ron Pratt collection being sold at Barrett Jackson, Scottsdale. That's right. We're going to start on the 10th and end on the 18th. It's, wow. uh, it's a long week this year. Wow. What, what kind of cars are in that collection? A little bit of everything. He really focused on what he liked. Shelby's. He bought a lot of Carroll's personal cars. Bought his personal convertible. Bought his first race car. Uh, bought the Super Snake, his personal supercharged Cobra. Right. He also likes uh, hot rods. He had a lot of cars done by Boyd Coddington. He bought wow. many of the iconic cars. Shazoom, What the Hay. Uh, a lot of the cars from American Hot Rod, cars he commissioned himself. Right. The Future Liner, he's donating the Future Liner to the Armed Forces Foundation. Wow. He's a Vietnam veteran himself. Yeah. He cares very much about the veterans and with the whole thing that's going on with the Veterans Administration yeah. that started in Phoenix yeah. uh, and then unraveled nationwide. Right. Right. Uh, he wants to help his fellow veterans. That's awesome. So, Going to be some unbelievable moments. We uh, January, we're changing television networks. We've been on Fox for 18 years. We are moving over to Velocity, Discovery, and we're on Discovery International. Right. So we will have the largest television audience in our history wow. this January. Wow. Well, mark your calendars. This will be a big special year, and cars that you've probably seen over the years go over the auction block. The Ron Pratt collection are going to be all so He's selling everything? Everything. Everything. We're selling all the automobilia. For the people that pre-register the Friday 
of the week before, because yeah. we're going to start on the Saturday, the weekend before. Okay. That Friday, we're going to have a open house. The last time the museum's intact, that night, we start taking it apart, moving it all to Westworld. Well, it's going to be awesome. Thanks for hanging be. with us, man. Thank you. Barrett Jackson, the world's greatest collector car auction and exhibition, and the biggest one I think you're ever going to have coming up in January 2015. We'll see you there. <laughs>